What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Xander Wayne here with another episode of the Xander Interjection. Um, I want to speak about something that's always been on my mind for years, and um, it just so happened that someone I know who I've trained with in the martial arts, he said it perfectly um, when I had a conversation with him with a few years back. The quote he said was, slow money is good money. You've probably heard an iteration that like that before sometime in your life, YouTubers. Um, if not, I'm going to explain to you what it means. We live in a society, unfortunately, that is predicated on commerce and finance. Um, and unfortunately, we also live in a society where it's about get it now. You know, a society to a degree has become very impatient with a lot of things. You know, they used to coin certain generations of the microwave generation where they want it done now. They want it now. You know, they don't want to wait. They don't want to, you know, understand the journey they're taking on. They want to focus on the destination. You know, me and the young gentleman, his name is King Jack Moose, by the way. Shout outs to him. Me and him, you know, we were talking about, you know, business and lifestyle and stuff. And, you know, he's very entrepreneurial himself. So I'm trying to, you know, take notes from every entrepreneur that I know try to, you know, gain insights how to get myself started. And the one thing that he stuck out that he said that stuck out to me like a sore thumb was that slow money is good money. And basically what that mean is what that means is no matter what money you're getting, it's still good money. You know, it may take it may be it may be a slow burn to getting that money. It may be money that's coming little by little over time. It could be money that you're getting right away. But at this point, living in America, slow money is good money. That means it's still coming. Think about it. What kind of situation would you be in if all the money you got was just a lump sum? Think about it. You know, $1,000 right there, bang. Before you know it, it's gone. $2,500, bam, right in your lap, boom, it's gone. As opposed to, you know, $100 this Friday, next Friday, next Friday, next Friday, next Friday, 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 Friday. It's slow money, but it's still good money. You know, you got to look at it from like this. And this is a quote that I, to this day, still say a lot, and I think it still holds true. The quicker you get it, the quicker you lose it. That's not just with money. I'm talking about with anything. The quicker you get something, the quicker you lose it. But talking about finance at this point, the quicker you get money, the quicker it disappears. You know, think about it. You know, look at all those people who win the lottery. Now, majority of them, you know, they quit their jobs. You know, go on vacation, spend this, spend that. Then they wind up with almost little to nothing of what they want as opposed to maybe investing it in something here saving the rest of it you know it's okay to spurge on yourself there's nothing wrong with that you know take a trip you know buy something that you really wanted or buy something that you really need you know but let the money slowly 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 work in your favor you know, don't be in such a rush to spend it right away. You know, because then you're going to wind up with nothing at the end of it. You know, you quit your job or you said, fuck you to your boss. And like, now, now what? Now what are you going to do? You know, it's all about thinking long term. And I think that's one of the main issues that is plaguing a lot of the minority groups. That we're not thinking about the long term. You know, one of the conversations I like to have, especially with my girl, is the um, subject of wealth. You know, Chris Rock talked about this in one of his stand-up specials that, you know, he's not talking about being rich. He's talking about being wealthy. Riches is something you can lose on a Vegas trip in a drug habit. Wealth, you can't really get rid of. Think about it. They always talk about a wealth of knowledge. You can't get rid of knowledge unless you purposely try to. There's always going to be something out there for you to learn. Knowledge is always all over the place. Money is too. Never you really think about it. 
it's all about playing your cards right and learning how to be patient. Patience is the most important thing the world can have right now, especially in the States. It's patience. We got to learn that things aren't always going to happen when you want them to happen. Some things take time. Some things have to mature and marinate and simmer over time in order for it to be ready. You know, one of the things I usually like to say to a lot of people is that you can only control a portion of your life. There are some things that are out of your control and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, I'm not a religious person, but I do believe in a creator. I do believe that the creator has plans for each and every one of us. You know, there's certain things that are going to happen to you right then and there. And there's certain things that are going to happen to you when the time is right. You know, you can't just sit there and try to rush it because you want this lifestyle or you want to be at a certain status and stuff like that. No, no, it doesn't work that way. Certain things are going to fall into place when they're supposed to. That doesn't mean to sit on your butt and just wait for it to happen. Absolutely not. Go out, do what you need to do. Get things started for yourself. And in the same time, understand that there's a lot of things that are beyond your control. And you have to accept that fact. Otherwise, you're just going to be coming up disappointed every time something you do doesn't work out in your favor. Maybe it wasn't your time for it to happen at that point. Again, slow money is good money. No matter what anybody says, slow money is good money. You know, so and that's pretty much all I had to say on the subject. You know, that was something I wanted to share with you, the YouTubers. You know, we live in a world right now where entrepreneurship is really the key to financial success. You know, I mean, if you have a good job, you're making good money, you know, then by all means, stay with it. As long as you don't hate your job, you know, but. At the end of the day, you want to have something for yourself. You know, get your own thing started. And I think that's one thing that we need to teach, start teaching the young ones today. You know, to start being the boss instead of working for a boss. You know, we got to start teaching the children that, you know, they need to start getting things created for themselves. Create their own law firm. Create their own medical practice. You know, create their own music company, create their own movie company, you know, create their own animation company. We need to utilize the talents that we have and we have to put it to good use. That's how it is. That's what entrepreneurship is. Doing what you know and getting paid for it. Um, or as the words of Heath Ellis Joker, if you're good at something, never do it for free. There we go. So, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you like what I had to say, you know, let me know in the comment section below. If there's anything you would like to add, you know, post in the comment section below. You know, if there's any detail that I may have missed, please let me know. And as always, slow money is good money. More videos coming soon to you, some reaction videos coming, so stay tuned. Peace.